I purchased the DLC of uh, Pokemon Scarlet, and in within that, you can only get yourself uh, additional outfits. But there's something else as well, which if you have purchased, you can get yourself a special code containing a very rare Pokemon. Um, code via DLC. You need to, of course, check your email address after this one because the code you get is obtained. But remember, this is an early purchase bonus until the up. Until the end of October, you will not be able to receive this particular gift, but of course, Pokemon uh, Home will be getting its update soon enough. Just no, don't try to copy mine, because it's different than yours, if you try to put uh, so don't try, it won't work on you for you. So don't try it. Did that correct um, the, the, see, did I correct did I correct one? Let me double check, okay. C E two one Aha! There it is. I need a two. Two M S three U five C Zero M D V C. That's my code, my own my own code, specialized code, which gives me Zork, his Syrian form gift. There's not another. This is a single use code, so that means this. Uh, since I just put it in there, I can myself this particular Zorak for myself. You guys can't get it unless you purchase the the, uh, the code yourself, or luck lucky yourself with a surprise trade if you're lucky. We we will soon Zora. So let's check the boy out. Zork, normal ghost type, as my uh, original team and ID, with happy hour, bit of mouse, nasty plot, and terror blast. I got to put my Pokemon in the thing there because if I want to show it up in battle, I require something else to do. I ride them into the Pokemon. I want to go to the boxes. I will place my boys right here. Just temporarily. There's Zork. Let's find ourselves some wild Pokemon or maybe a trainer to a bell. Let's do a bell loot the bell train them. There's a trainer. Oh, you're not you're not you're not ready to battle me. I will find my fellow himself a little trainer for me to battle, so give me a moment. Oh, I think that one is ready one to battle me. Yes, you want uh, you want to battle me. Now I can talk about this little boy. A Syrian Zorak has the exact same stat as a regular Zorak, before it wasn't. It's very fast and is decently speedy as well. Oh no, wait, it's... Oh no, it actually is much faster and has... Well, it has... Mm, yeah, it's more... It's more faster than uh, than a than a no, than a than a, than a you know, than, uh, Zora, but the cost of a little bit of it, uh, a little bit of its uh, attack stats. So it's more of a special, still more of a special attacker, and special attack is actually much more higher as well. What's the difference? Oh, also a little bit less HP as well. That's the difference in stat. It's similar, but still similar. But its special attack and speed is still really high and mid higher than the regular Zora, of course. Let me actually uh, do this real quick. Yeah. 
Zorak, his main gimmick is is having the illusion ability. That's why, <laughs> that is why uh, I specifically needed one Pokemon in my party. I'm being only Zorak, otherwise it will transform into another Pokemon or take it on the disguise. But it will still be its typing has its ability and whatnot. It's just simply a disguise, merely illusion, as it says. Zora can use like moves like Shadow Ball, Nasty Plot, and using like moves like Flamethrower, maybe Icy Wind if you like really scary or Shadow Ball, Dark Pulse. Yeah, you have a lot of options to you with Zora and able to trick your opponents when doing moves that you probably don't want to they really want to do with. But Sylvian Zork also has two immunities. Its main thing is of course main bread and butter, it has two immunities. It's a normal and ghost type Pokemon. Meaning it has two immunities, few is, a few resistances, and not only that, and not only that, it has also a grand total of three immunities. Its only resistances is bug and and poison, but its only weakness it takes is freaking uh, is dark time moves. It takes its only weakness is dark time moves. Just know that you, so you can use other ghost types, maybe also normal types. And other Pokemon that are super really good, really weak against uh, fighting type moves, for example. So in order to trick your opponents and using moves that doesn't do anything. It has the Happy Hour ability, which pretty much isn't uh, in the Zorak here, but that's not the same to move. It pretty much means I get myself more money out of this, so. What you know? Electro Rap, okay. Zorak, this Zorak is also the only Pokemon in existence who have a signature move called Bitter Malice. That's this, 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 this move right here. It's a base 75 power, 100% accurate, fifth special ghost type move with additional effect. It will low, also lower the target's um, attack stat. In before, in Legends Arcus, it was giving the. It will would have uh, given the uh, Frostbite status. But uh, Frostbite doesn't exist in this game. So, show you in battle, show that in battle. And since I do need to talk about Hisuian Zorak a little bit more, I should talk about its shiny, if it's possible for you to get yourself a Hisuian Zorak right here, right now. It is possible, yes. Good luck, uh, it's a good luck to finding that, but you only can get it via just via Masuda methods. Good luck uh, with that. In order to evolve a Hisuian Zora into a Hisuian Zorak, it's the same method as a regular Zor as a as an uh, Unovan Zorak Zora into a in a Unovan Zorak. Level it up, level 30, and you can get yourself a shiny Hisuian Zorak. I will see you guys next time for the very next event, and hopefully you get yourself whatever it is you want to need to find. Hopefully you get yourself that shiny Zorak, or maybe also that, um, maybe you will consider this DLC for yourself, if you just want that to use the Zorak for, Zorak for yourself. See you guys next time. And oh yeah, I almost, for almost forgot that this thing has the terror type of dark. <laughs> I barely forgot about that. Well, see you guys next time.